Now it happened as they went that he entered a certain village and a certain woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. She had a sister called Mary who also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was distracted with much serving and she approached him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Therefore tell her to help me. And Jesus answered and said to her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and troubled about many things, but one thing is needed, and Mary has chosen that good part, which will not be taken away from her. Luke 10 verse 38 to 42, New King James Version. Rest is the very first part of the word restoration. I know many of us, myself included, underestimate the power of rest. In Matthew 11 verse 28 to 30, Jesus said to come to him all who are heavy burdened and he will give you rest. Interesting that he didn't say that he will give you power or strength to get through your burdens. However, he will give you rest. This to me says that resting in him is the main key to being restored back to a place where we feel we have strength and power to go on. God was so serious about rest that he himself rested on the seventh day after creating the entire universe, the earth and everything in it. And he also instructed his children to take one day of the week, the Sabbath, to rest. Hebrews 4 verse 10 NIV says, For anyone who enters God's rest also rests from their works, just as God did from his. Let us therefore make every effort to enter that rest so that no one will perish by following their example of disobedience. If you are going to work at something, work at entering the rest of God. Jesus knew when he told Martha in Luke 10 verse 38 to 42 that the one thing she was missing was to rest at the feet of Jesus. Martha started out at Jesus' feet. The scripture says that Mary, Martha's sister, was also at Jesus' feet. This to me indicates that Martha was sitting with Mary at Jesus' feet at the start. However, then she started to think about everything that still needed to be done and got distracted. Does this sound like you? You may have the best intentions to sit at the feet of Jesus during your devotion time. However, before you know it, your mind is racing with a list of all the things you need to do for the day. And your prayers start to go something like this. Lord, please help me with all the things I have to do today. There are so many things I still need to do and complete. And then you start rambling off your shopping list of problems you need Jesus to fix. Don't get me wrong. There is nothing wrong with bringing your burdens and prayers to him. However, I think that a lot of times these things can consume our prayer life. And we miss the power he wants to give us when we just rest at his feet. In today's society, it may feel counterproductive to just sit at Jesus' feet during your devotion, waiting for him to minister to you. But Jesus knew that this is where your strength is, and the devil knows it too. That is why one of his main tactics is to distract us. Don't give the enemy your power by moving away from the feet of Jesus. I want to challenge you, why not leave your list of requests for today? Take time out during your devotion time. Just sit and wait for Holy Spirit to show up. Picture yourself sitting at Jesus' feet and ask Him what He wants to minister to you and share with you today. Praise and worship Him and make your prayer time all about Him. I know that you will get up and feel restored, refreshed and uplifted. I bless you with breakthrough, wisdom and renewed vision during your restful time with Jesus. Let's pray. Holy Spirit, I invite you into the space. You are so welcome here. Please still my mind and thoughts and teach me how to get to a place where I can sit and rest at the feet of Jesus. Jesus Christ, my Prince of Peace, my beautiful Savior, I'm sitting at your feet and I'm making every effort to enter your rest today. Thank you that it is your heart for me to be refreshed and to receive powerful revelation from you. 
Thank you that you know all my needs even before I utter them. Today I want to bring you honor and glory by being still in your presence and waiting on you and making you the most important part of my devotion time. I'm burdened and weary and therefore I come to you for you alone can give me rest. I thank you and believe that I receive it now in Jesus name. Amen.